This lesson helps you understand how to describe the shape of data distributions. To describe data distributions, use vocabulary like symmetrical, where the left side of the data looks like the right side, or peak, the most frequently occurring values or the mode of the data. A cluster are data values that are grouped closely together. And a gap is an interval with no data values. For example, this data set is symmetrical. If you draw a vertical line through the middle of the data, the left side looks like the right side. On the other hand, this data set is not symmetric. It has a cluster of data values within the interval 10 to 12. The gaps 9 and 13 have no data values. The value 10 is a peak because it's the most frequently occurring value. For another example, this data set is not symmetric. There's a gap from 19 to 21. There are clusters from 16 to 18 and 22 to 25. The distribution has a peak at 22. And there are no outliers. This line plot shows the number of states visited by students in a class. The data are not symmetric. In this case, calculate the median and inner quartile range to describe the center and spread of the data. Excluding the outlier, the median is 12. The first quartile is 11. The third quartile is 13. And the inner quartile range is 13 minus 11 or 2. So the data are centered around 12 states. The spread of the data around the center is about 2 states. So most students visited between 11 and 13 states. In addition, there's a cluster of data between 10 and 13 states. There's a gap between 15 and 18. There's a peak at 12 states and an outlier at 19 states. This line plot shows the cost of parasailing rides. Since the data are symmetric, you're probably not going to talk about clusters, gaps, and peaks. Instead, calculate the mean and standard deviation to describe the center and spread of the data. So the data are centered around $35. And since the standard deviation is approximately equal to 2, most of the data are spread between 33 and 37. So most customers spend between 33 and $37. The least costly ride is $31. The most costly is $39. This lesson helped you understand how to describe the shape of data distributions. And this lesson was brought to you by the Math Fun Academy, its continuing mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new math and new equations, to boldly go where no math student has gone before.